All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Planet Crafter, where today we are going to be getting back into some forestry and seeing how things are over in the test zone, and if perhaps it might be worth to do a little bit more with that area. If not, we'll be just going around and inspecting our existing forests, see if there's any way to just sort of briefly improve upon them as well. You know, I'm overall pretty happy with the forest that I currently do have in the game. I mean, the canyon still bothers me a little bit, but that's mainly just because I wish I had more of that one unique seed. But, oh well, what are you gonna do? So let's head on over to the test zone and just, uh, you know what, before we do leave, I should really grab some food. We've got none in our inventory right now, and there we are. Magnificent. Should I take an air with me? Nah, we're fine. Let's go to the test zone. Also, is it getting dark? It is, of course. <laughs> of course, just my luck. Oh well, oh well. To the test zone. Let's roll. Alright, depending on how this goes, that teleporter's probably gonna get moved. So, how did these things pan out? Ooh. Not, ooh, not bad at all over here, actually, with the tier threes. We, in fact, did get some of the elitises growing on the sides of the mountain and of course it's getting dark and harder to see why the hell is it just growing in those one areas and i'm disappointed though well let's get a little closer i'm disappointed in how this uh these little folias are lo looking over here with the tier one i really was expecting a bit more huh huh you know what? that doesn't look bad though over there i'm kind of all right with that this I'm saddened by, and yeah, it's just, no, it's just not going to work, not going to work. So, what I think we are going to do then today, which I really wasn't anticipating, I really figured this wouldn't have uh, turned out how I was hoping over there, but yeah, the stuff on the cliffs actually are looking pretty good. So, if we add another tier three to maybe, like, somewhere over there, and one down there, too... That actually might make for a pretty... Oh, God, we might need one there. I don't know. That might be a bit much. But if we put one... Yeah, yeah. If we kind of spread them out, I think we could get away with three. Because, yeah, actually, that one spreading out to there, I think it would be best to put, like, a tier three there and a tier three there to kind of cover this area as much as we can. Because, yeah, that does look better than I thought it would turn out, which I am actually pretty pleased about. Wonderful! So yeah, let's go get to working on two more of those. That should be perfectly doable today. We're also going to need to make some more elitus. Oh god, that means I need mutagen. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I didn't think about that part. Oh, and hey, how's my... Oh yeah, I forgot about you. God, your radius just sucks. <laughs> I mean, it is growing. It is growing, though, on the, the grass here. I forgot that we placed this thing. So yeah, you could put flowers in here too but the problem is again even the best flower spreaders radius kind of sucks I'm just gonna deconstruct you <laughs> what do you have nothing really valuable all right let's just go home <laughs> I'm not even gonna rebuild that there's no there's no point there's no point okay uh, yeah the grass spreaders are really really crap I really wish there was a better one oh I'm on deconstruct of course I can't use the teleporter I was about to say, I was like, oh no, is my teleporter broken? But no, 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 it's good. Uh, so yeah, let's put all this crap up real quick, the new things. Pop you there, we did get you out of that, which is good. So yeah, everything else is back over this way. So we got that magnesium, we got an aluminium, we got a bioplastic. So, oh, there was a super alloy in here too. I'm gonna need that later. Oh, we got one of you. That's good. So that's one. Well, I'm gonna need to make more of you, anyways. Oh yeah. Let's go grab. Let's put you up. And I'm gonna put you in the bio one for right now because I'm gonna need a lot of room for the wonderful, wonderful world of algae. <laughs> All right, and put you in a folia up over there. Yeah, we're gonna need two elitists. So let's focus on getting that stuff first. See, so yeah, we're gonna need to make two mutagens and enough stuff for two of the tier threes. 
Which, ah oh boy, I'm not remembering what all the tier 3 requires, so that's going to be a bit much. That's going to take us a little time, but we should be able to finish this all in the episode today. Oh, hydration. I'm swimming in water. There we go. <laughs> Uh, so I was kind of weirded out that we got to do that on the water surface, but I guess it does make sense since it's a click. It'd be kind of weird while I'm trying to collect algae to be gulping down water. But, oh well. <laughs> Alright, grab all this wonderful stuff. Nope, none of it over there. Okay, okay. Whoop. And grab you. Yeah, I figured you'd be ready to go. Alright, so let's make the put this in here. Let's see, with all the stuff we got here, I'm gonna need some more water. I'm trying to think of oh, how, how we could do this to try and get ahead of ourselves a little bit here. Okay, so we are gonna need three more bacteria samples for today, because we got one in our inventory already. So yeah, let's make three more of those. And I need... Two methane cartridges and two sulfur. There we go. And there we go. Magnificent. I've already forgotten what the Elitus is. I mean, I don't know why I'm choosing the Elitus for this place. I now have two forests that are made of Elitus, but we have so many Pisteras. Why the hell not? <laughs> oh, wait, no. Pisteras are on here. So yeah, I'll make two of you, then I need those two uh, barks I just grabbed. Alright, and get you going. Research. And start sequencing. And... Research. And sequence. Okay, so we got the two bacteria samples for the tier three, which we need. Zeolites, easy. What are the tier 2 fertilizers need? That's the thing I'm really forgetting. So, I do just need to make two fertilizer. That's simple. Two, three, one, two, three. Ooh, we have just enough algae to make everything. That's good. Magnificent. So, yeah, let's go grab four eggplant. Wait, crap. No, I need eight, don't I? Ah, son of a... <laughs> oh, I just had to... I was... I got my brain mixed up when I was thinking about what I need for... Because uh, I was thinking I needed two of these originally to make the... Two fertilizer to make the tier two fertilizer. But no, it's one. And so that got my brain confused about what I needed next. <laughs> oh, God. I need more algae then in that case. Well, we can get everything sorted for one of them. Go out and build and then come back to grab all our algae once that's done. So let's get you. And you and you. And then I can make two of you if I just go grab some squash. More of that. So I'm going to need to eat and drink again here in a moment. Yeah, grab those. Eat you. Why not? Drink you. <laughs> Okay, and then we needed a me one methane or two methane. Let's just grab four just to be on the safe side. One, two, three, four. Ooh boy, I'm gonna need more of you. Did I also have yeah, I did have a did have you in there. Alright, so I actually only need to make one more fertilizer. That's not bad. Okay, one, two. Yeah, I just need to make one more fertilizer. I forgot you were in there. I am gonna have to go collect some methane though, so let's go get that from our collector. Yeah, we got some air two in there. That's not bad. Not the greatest thing ever to get, but eh, it works. Okay, we'll actually put nope. Actually, put you into there. There we are. I need four of you, so I'll put two of you back into here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't got enough for another fertilizer right now. Is that even grown up at the top end where I collected? I just need three. That's all I need is three algae. Are there any I missed? No, nah, it's not looking like it. Ah, dang. All right, well, let's... Oh, wait, nope. I saw one. Ha-ha! One little algae. Let's see if there was any I missed along the shore law. Wait, wait, wait. Yes! 
They're newly grown! Ha <laughs> ha! Perfect! We've won victory! All right. Let's go back over here. What the heck? Let's just harvest these. Because we are running low on the eggplant. God, best addition they made into the game with the update was the ability to just click those and not have to replant the seeds. That is the best. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna need another sulfur here. Did I just need one? I think we're, I think we're good. I got an eggplant on me. We'll be fine. So I want a you. Oh, we need two more algae. And two squash. Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, back over here. Back to the squash. Back to the squash. On two, magnificent. Hopefully we got some more algae over here. We just need two of them. Don't see any there, but we got one. We got two. All right. God bless the growth rate of the algae in this world. All right, there we go. Oh, God, I lost a lot of frames there when I was coming out of the water. Yeah, there's certain places in this game that just really tank my frame rate. Just so weird. So much of it is perfectly fine. The majority of it, in fact. Okay, okay, so. I got four. We got the two bacteria samples. I just need two tree bark, two super alloy, and two zeolite. That is all do Oh, boy, that was close to not being doable. <laughs> We're good. We're good. We're good. We got no problems. We got you, and that's the fabric container that's no longer necessary because we're out of fabric now. God, that still saddens me. I wish we could have more fabric in the world. I don't need you. Let's not wrong container. What? I just you'd think I'd learn. You'd think I'd learn. I'm just still my brain every time I come in here thinks, oh yeah, water is first container. Nope. Ah, <laughs> oh, the actual seeds doing. You guys good? Oh, perfect timing. Oh, yes! I'm so happy right now. Alright, so we can go build these two. So, man, we're actually a little bit ahead of schedule on getting the test zone all good to go. Let's see, yeah, let's build this one. One of them... Yeah, let's build one of them right here. Yeah, see how that pans out. And the other one we'll build over here. See how that pans out. Oh, I forgot to put an Elitus in it! <laughs> Back we go. Boop. And, yeah, put this one, like, right there-ish. Yes, perfect, perfect. Kind of think, you know, we might be able to get, I'm kind of thinking maybe a tier two on that island still. We could probably build it. Let's hide this one right by these rocks right here. Not really hidden, really. I'm just kind of thinking as a place so it doesn't look so weird being on this cliffside. There we go. Ugh, that's not quite going to reach over there, though, I don't think. But I'm all right with it. With where these three are located, I think it should, everything should look good. What does a two need? Yeah, we can make that work. Ah, oh, except I don't have another Elitus. Oh, boy. Hmm. You know, what the hell? We'll grab the linea folia <laughs> that we were using as another test one. Put that on the island so the island has its own little weird thing. Neat. We'll do that. Yeah, let's go make a tier two. I like it. Okay, which does mean that this teleporter is going to have to be here for longer than I originally anticipated. I did want to move that over to my observation platform. So that we can have a good, uh, you know, just nice symmetry with all of my lovely little cabins. <laughs> but no. Okay, so we just need one of you. Oh, I'm going to need another one of you over here. We're going to need four algae. Well, there's one on the shoreline. Uh, two... Three and four. Perfect. Oh, no. We need another three, don't we? Yeah, bio sample. One, two, three. Noise. Grab you. Grab a sulfur and two methane cartridges. Nope. 
And you. Excellent. See, I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you. Oh my god, we're so great. <laughs> we got everything going. Okay, so then I just need my last super alloy I have in that container. All right, we're gonna have to go to the super alloy cave today too, I think. And then a tree bark and a zeolite, and we are good to go. We'll take the linifolia with us. Yeah, we got it. Dang it, no. And there we are. We got it. All right, back over to the test zone. Boop. Okay, wow, we actually did a lot more in this episode than I anticipated we would. This all has turned out pretty good. Magnificent. You know, that one might get some of the elitists over to there. I'm going to put this where we tried putting the tier 3 before, because I think that'll work best. Just kind of hidden in here. And... Linifolia, go! Nice! Alright! Well, that is it for this area. We'll see how it all pans out. Might as well eat that food, too. Sure, why the heck not? And let us go take a little bit of a tour of the forest we got, just to check on them. See, I am overall pretty happy with them. And just, you know, even though I would love to put more ground foliage down, like elitises, linifolias, etc. I don't, I don't care for how it looks on, like, the valley base with just all the tier ones. I really wish, I've said it multiple times, I do like how I did the, the couches in here. I, I have said it multiple times, I really wish we had, like, something like the tier three, but that made them small size like the tier one, that'd be great. But, oh well, let's take a little gander around our forest here. Oh no, one more floor, there we go. Uh, look at it. Again, if only I had a big grass spreader, too. Oh my god, give me a big grass spreader. <laughs> I don't want flowers here, I want grass. I mean, some flowers mixed in, of course, too, on places. But, yeah, overall, I like how this stuff looks. I just really wish we could get more ground foliage like that without having to have a billion freaking tier ones. That is unfortunate. But, all in all, I'm pretty happy with how our different areas did turn out. Let's actually go up to the, to all this up. Wait, hold on a moment. What the hell? Was that always there? <laughs> also, neat. I got a Soleus in here. Oh, yeah. I forgot I put you here ages ago. I was hoping you'd put trees like right there. I'm pretty sure that this didn't exist before. Uh, the what? You know, I actually do need uranium. Let's grab all this. We're kind of low on it after all the new generators we made when we were in the, the sad times when we couldn't build the quartz anymore. Oh my god, yeah, is this new? Was this always here? This wasn't here before. Was this added? Did I entirely miss this this whole time? I think I did. Oh my god, well, let's take a look around here a little bit more and see if we can find a container in here. Maybe there's some place with fabric. <gasps> I need more fabric. God, we really need something that we can make fabric with. That's what we really need in this game. Yeah, there's nice stuff there. Not seeing any... Oh! Oh, no. Eh, nothing great. I'll take it, though. I'll take those. The rest is meh. Ah, oh, dang. I was hoping for something. I was hoping for the golden chest I still haven't found from the update. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll grab the rest of the uranium. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was newly added. I don't. We've been in this cave before, uh, this area before, and there was never a cave back here. I mean, I could be wrong, though, and I've just been missing it this entire time with my luck. That's the case. But, oh, well, we got it now. We got all this delicious uranium. And there was one more right there. I didn't bring an oxygen bottle with me. Well, still do what I was originally intending to do before I saw that green. Let's get up on the rocks. Overall, I like how this forest turned out down here. I still wish it was more dense, but that's just unfortunately the game. I really, really wish there was more density with these things. And still wish I had more ground coverage with these smaller ones, but such is life in the video games. So, all right, let's get in here, go take a look at our box canyon. Well, let's actually drop off all this uranium first. That'd be lovely. 
Ah, uh, our observation post turned out wonderfully. I do like the look. I was worried that we wouldn't be able to really do anything much with this, with uh, furniture-wise. But I'm very happy with how that turned out. We got nothing in the canyon base, though. <laughs> oh, boy, that one. Alright, so put all you into here. Oh, look at that. We now actually do have some super alloy again. Magnificent. And I think both of you go in here? Yes, both of you do. Would you look at that? Wonderful. Let's grab an oxygen. Alright. And let's head on over and see how the canyon base area is doing. I mean, I know I mentioned it last time that I'm a little bit interested in maybe just tearing this whole place down and turning it back into one of my little cabins. But, eh, it's already made. I'll just never put anything in it furniture-wise. Yeah, I do like how this area looks down. And these trees, these trees here are perfect for this area. I just wish I had more of those seeds. And how are these looking down here? Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I just wish I had more of those trees. Boy, howdy, these things grew huge! I never noticed this last time we checked it. Look at this one! Holy crap! <laughs> Love it. How far did it end up going back this time around? With the scattering. Well, not bad, not bad. It went back, it went, uh, back pretty far. That's good. Nice. Never back all the way to the end, but I'm actually alright with that, considering it's pretty far away from any water. But yeah, I do like how these ended up. Now, how about this way? I'm surprised we don't really have much more greenery here, considering there's a tree spreader right there. Yeah, it's a little bit weird having the two ends and then the nice tree in the middle, but overall, it's still not bad. All right, yeah, I really do like how these turned out. Did any of them? I'm curious. Did any of them go up top? No. <laughs> Fair. I kind of figured, but I had to check. Alright, well, over to the warp gate one. I could have just actually taken the teleporter, but eh, it's there. I can see it. I think, honestly, probably the warp gate one's my favorite forest we've made. It's definitely not the most dense, but I just love the oasis here that we have created. It's, you know, sparse as I, in my mind, an oasis should be. You know, a beautiful respite, but not crazy. Not crazy dense with stuff. It's the one area where, honestly, I'm pretty happy about the density. And mixing in this tier 2 here, just to have this slightly more dense bit here, I love. Oh, and our beautiful cabin. Yo, God, we got one like right in front of our view this time. Ew. <laughs> Why do you have to be there? You're ruining the view! How dare you! Alright, go to the other side, the other window. Lovely. Ooh, we actually got a lot on the island this time around. It's always weird how sometimes it puts a lot on the island and sometimes it doesn't. Again, just that scattering. Yeah, I really do love how this oasis turned out. It is pretty darn great. Huh. I never really noticed this before. Why does the glass look more clear from this side? I mean, that one actually looks pretty blue there, but like, look at that. That's, that's how the glass I wish looked on the inside. But no, when we go in, and blue. Aw, <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, why can't that be reversed? It's so much clearer. Oh man, I never noticed that before. Ah, oh, dang it. It might be a distance thing. No, it still actually looks less blue on this side. That's actually, oh my god, you know, I never really thought about it. It might be how it's the lights reflecting in here with these lights. Oh, well that annoys me even more. <laughs> we see now from the outside that it can look good and clear. But instead, we, yeah, you know what? It might be the lights considering the flashlight here makes it even worse with the blue. My god. Well, that's annoying. Oh well. Boop. And let's head down this way just to get another good look at our forest over here. Probably our greatest forestry project. The mix between the grand forest that I've been thinking about it in my head and our aluminium forest. All looks just gorgeous. I really wish more trees went up that way. But yeah, it really doesn't seem to like going up slopes a lot. Man, just look at this. Look at our grand forest stretching from one end all the way to over there and then our base as well. 
Ugh, oh, and then plus that beautiful aluminium force. It's just... It's just the best. I think this is our greatest creation over here, frankly. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. I still wish I could put crap loads of grass down, but oh well. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I'm very happy with how all that turned out. I think my greatest disappointment in our forests, and unfortunately it's just something out of my control because we only have the one seed, is the canyon. <laughs> Uh, that is my that is my greatest disappointment for all of our all of our forested areas we have made. It's, it's just if if I had three of those seeds, I could make the perfect little biome down there to my aesthetic. But instead, no. I'm quite pleased with this tree. This tree really did work for making this big forest area. I think it works very nicely. All in all, yeah, just overall a beautiful, beautiful setup. I do like how it did all turn out. Only, oh, wait, hold on, there we go. Look at it all. Kinda wish I got something more right here, but eh, you know what? Might be actually worth moving some flower things over here at some point. Not that I'll ever get to it, probably, but you know, eh. <laughs> And finally, our wonderful oases over here in all of their glory in the desert. Good frickin' times. But yeah, all in all, I'm pretty pretty happy with how all of my forests did turn out. Magnificent. Look at the oasis in the distance. <laughs> and I think this is honestly where I'm going to end today's episode. A little bit earlier than our normal things. But yeah, this was my intent to take a look at forested things today uh, as our last forestry episode. The only real thing left was the crappy little forest I very quickly made over in that over that way with more elitises. Well, you know, what the hell? Go check out how that's looking real quick. Get some air. There we are. Don't really have a good teleporter over in that area. But I never really cared much for that biome, frankly. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad biome, certainly. And if you did spend more time in there, I'm sure you could make something pretty freaking cool. But since it is one of the newer biomes and the least... one of the ones I've interacted with the least... It's just kind of a meh. I think if there would have been a bigger ship there or a larger base, I'd probably would have spent more time exploring it and doing things there. Like with the test zone. You know, it had that huge base there, so we've been there multiple times. In fact, it had two bases there. So we've been in there multiple times, so I'm intrigued to try and do something with that crater. But yeah, this, uh, whatever this place is called up here with just the arches and whatnot. I don't know, it just doesn't interest me very much. But I'm sure if we would have had it from the get-go, I probably would have liked it more. You know, let's go on top of this arch. And... a boop. You know what? Not bad, though. Honestly, not bad. I kind of like where all the elitises did go. I'm still not 100% sold on the elitises being there, but like I've said a billion times now, I'm not entirely sold on the elitises in general. <laughs> I just wish we had more, like, arid style of trees or, you know temperate style of trees. A freaking pine tree in this world would not go amiss. Just seems like most of the trees that we have available to us are all really meant for more wet environments. And we actually only have a couple of those that really work as that in the game. The majority of the environments are far more arid in nature. So it just feels to me like it should be those. But... Oh well, I actually don't mind how it turned out in here. It's not too shabby in the slightest. But yeah, I think that is where we are going to end this one for today. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go check out... Oh, I just had a thought. Huh. A thought that I don't know if I actually care to expand upon? Uh, like, as a test? Wait, nope, this isn't the way to go. Where's the cave entrance? Oh, here it is. I just have a hard time finding the cave entrance here. I wonder if I could grow trees in here. Hmm. Hmm. Because the same tree we have in the aluminium biome actually would work very nicely in here, too, looks-wise. I had never thought about that until just now. I don't know how long or how much the next episode is going to take, but let's head back to the home base real quick. As our plan for next time, let's actually go look, because I think we'd know. We don't make it there. We make it upstairs, I believe. Is we are going to make... Yes, you. Oh, God, I need three pulsar quartz. Son of a... 
<laughs> that might take more longer than I thought. Okay, okay. Hmm. Hmm. I was thinking we might only have one episode of this left, but considering what we're going to need to make that, and I need to make runs to our Osmium and Zeolite Cave and Super Alloy Cave, we might have two left, because I'm actually kind of tempted now to try growing trees underground. We've never tried it, because I just never thought about it. I figured tree growers might not even go down there. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Two episodes left. <laughs> Next episode, we'll focus on trying to get this going and then get the fusion cells installed in their places. And then, yeah, one episode, a final one of running some more minor experiments. Like, I would like to try and build something in the cave there. I also entirely forgot that we did build a tree spreader in there. Huh. And we might go take a look at that, too, next uh, when we do the other experiment. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We might actually have two more episodes left. One for the fusion cells and one for experimentation. Intriguing. But that's going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed. And yet do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching as always. We'll have a good one.